Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindy Sherry. problems for example if you were to buy maybe a coin for ten dollars where you can get millions of these coins because they're not yet listed on a crypto exchange but then you will end up paying 250 dollars for guest fees so now uniswap came up with another network two networks which we can use to buy these coins early and pay less fees so that we can buy these coins cheap before they even land in these crypto exchanges like binance and crypto.com so without wasting time let's go to today's video First thing that you need to do, you need to go to uniswap.com. So let me just quickly give you an explanation of what is Uniswap. So it is a decentralized permissionless exchange. So trading all the ERC20 tokens. So ERC20, it is the protocol that is used by Ethereum. So another thing that you need to do, you need your MetaMask. So you go to metamask.io. I do have a full video which you can watch in order how to add this. But let me just show you quickly. You click download and then you click Chrome and then it will add a Chrome extension or you can just install on your phone as well and then once you click install and then if you selected the chrome one you will have that icon at the top as you can see mine is already connected but then i will show you how to create one so basically when you click it will show you you can either create a new wallet or import a new another wallet that you already have and then you do need to make sure that you protect your secret recovery phrase so it's basically these weights which you will drag and drag until you confirm so after doing that you will have your wallet just like this one that i have then you are able to connect so there are different uh, networks um, mainnets and different wallet address so i have two or three you can also create multiple wallet address for example if you have kids you can just create one for kids one for maybe your husband or your child or your friend and then i'm just going to show you how to create a new one so you basically create a new one i'm just going to create a test one and then we can use that to do this um, exercise so now i have another wallet so now i go back all you do you click launch app and then you click uh, connect using metamask so you're basically connecting uniswap with metamask so it is the wallet address that is going to be used and then now when you look at this site you would see see that there's other coins which you can swap so the reason why we're doing this is because when we swap or when you use ethereum the gas fees are high so, so let me show you why are these high so i'm trying to convert ethereum to sandbox and then now i'm entering so when i click swap you would see that the fees are actually higher than what i am actually buying so now i'll get five um five cent um coins and then when you go to coin get coins check the price of cent you would see that the price at the moment is 56 rand 99 so when you go to dollar rand value and then you type that so that i can explain it to you you see it's three dollars per cent box so you do want to make sure that you understand in your local currency and then now as you can see i will get five um cent box so since i have 21 dollars in my ethereum wallet and then now when i click swap it's supposed to just swap from my 21 rent and then swap to this ascent coin which is a metaverse coin but then when you look at the fees you would see that the fees are high so when you click swap and confirm swap you would see that it is very expensive so let's just confirm because then it will pull my metamask wallet and then you can see what i'm talking about can you see that just the fees it's actually 40 dollars which is almost uh, two times the price of what i'm actually buying so that's the reason why we struggle to buy new coins from uniswap because the gas fees are high so whenever we say that the gas fees are high i mean those who joined for sage you will know that to, to buy um to join for sage it used to be two dollars i mean three or four dollars but then just because of gas fees it will go up so now we have different networks which is polygon arbitrum so i'm now going to connect to arbitrum so when you first connect to it it will tell you that this network is not added so you just need to approve to add it so now we're adding other networks because now we were using um ethereum to um to ethereum network to buy but then now if we have other other networks like arbitrum like uh, polygon then the fees they are cheap so now you can see that i have arbitrum added so now i'm not on ethereum network i am on arbitrum network so now when you go 
you can just switch from um, Ethereum to Arbitrum. So depending on what network you want to use. So in case, just in case, if you try to add this network and it doesn't add, you can just go to Google and type how to add Arbitrum to MetaMask. And then it will open this page and then you just go and copy these values. And then all you just do, you go back to your Chrome extension, the MetaMask, and then you click add network so when you add network at the bottom you can just copy these values and add these values one by one so basically you go to the block and copy all these values the chain id and all the values that you need and then after you click ok so that will be added as well so that's another way for you to add so you can do the same with polygon you just go to google and type just make sure that the link that you select is not a link um, which will actually rob you so let's just go to the polygon one also polygon was not added in my metamask so now i'll have to approve so that i can add it now i'm switching from ethereum to polygon so now i'm on polygon i can just uh, copy the address so now say we want to add funds because you will need to add funds as you can see this wallet has funds so there's two ways first way you can go to your crypto exchange mine is binance and then you copy the wallet address so i'm back to the youtube test and you can also buy on metamask by clicking buy and then you can just select wire it's like you're buying online and then if you don't um, buy using um, that because it's expensive, you can just transfer from your uh, Binance by just withdrawing from Binance into your wallet address in MetaMask. So that's another way you can also do it. So now you have to select the um, coin that you want to select and then change the network. So you see now when you change the network, it shows you, you copy the wallet address and then you paste it. But then now the network is Arbitrum. So now can you can see that it is currently suspended, but then they are doing something and they will let you know. So you can set a reminder to remind you when this uh, network is live again so you can do the same thing as well with polygon and then you can just uh, transfer and then after you just click withdraw and then it will continue and send your money into your metamask so once you have your money in your metamask you can do the same so let's just use polygon now so that you can see can you see matic network is also added so polygon is matic as well so one is coin one is actually the blockchain so now we are continuing so now if you want to maybe transfer an ethereum to polygon you can come to arbitrum one bridge so you connect your wallet address and then after connecting your wallet address you can specify the number of ethereum or whatever coin you want to transfer but it doesn't do all these coins only selected coins and then after connecting you can specify the number of ethereum and then you can just also do the transfer from here and then which will allow you to move from one network to another network without using um, metamask or uniswap okay guys uh thank you so much for watching i hope you now understand how to add the networks in uniswap and also you understand how to do the switch as well and also you understand how to transfer the money from your currency exchange into your metamask and do remember as well that there is a video that will show you how to add your MetaMask step by step. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, comment so that the video can be shared to more people. Thank you so much for watching.